Well, eight years ago, a Fox 5 I-Team investigation sparked a criminal prosecution of a well-known cosmetic surgeon. Dr. Nathaniel Johnson pleaded guilty to Medicaid fraud, and he surrendered his medical license. Well, now Cobb County Police have arrested Johnson on a charge that he has been practicing medicine without a license. And senior Fox 5 I-Team reporter Dale Russell is here with the unfolding story. Dale? Russ, it is unfolding and has been for a long time. Nathaniel Johnson served his time and was out on probation when he began running cosmetics surgery centers according to his lawyer but now three women have told Cobb County Police and not only ran the centers he performed surgery on them that's what he's accused of is actually performing surgery which is outright untrue attorney Jackie Patterson says Nathaniel Johnson vehemently denies allegations from three women that he performed cosmetic surgery without a license the only thing that's true about these allegations is that Dr. Johnson was arrested. Everything after that is absolutely false. The well-known and charismatic surgeon has been the focus of a Fox 5 I-Team investigation dating back some eight years. We can't, we can't talk about that and those allegations, I know, no comment. The Fox 5 I-Team found Dr. Johnson allowed this man, Jeff Romeus, to pose as a licensed doctor in Dr. Johnson's gynecology practice. Romeus was a Guyana Medical School graduate, but not a doctor. How many of you were treated by Jeff Romeus? In 2008, the I-Team talked to 24 women, five on camera, who told us Jeff Romeus treated them as their gynecologist. They had no idea until our story that he was not a licensed doctor. And now you realize he's not a doctor? Yes. What do you think? It was cutthroat and dishonest. Count two, conspiracy to defraud the state. Guilty or not guilty? Yes. Following our story, in 2014, the state prosecuted Dr. Johnson and he pled guilty to Medicaid fraud, conspiracy to defraud the state, and aiding the unlicensed practice of medicine. 75% of the claims that Johnson submitted to Medicaid were fraudulent, and he's got to live with that. He was ordered to repay taxpayers $300,000 in restitution and surrender his medical license. It's no doubt that that was a traumatic experience for him, but he has been on the straight and narrow, has followed all the conditions of his probation. Johnson served six months behind bars and was out on probation running the Hello Beautiful Cosmetic Surgery Center in Smyrna. We have at least three at this time. However, we believe there are more. Cobb County Sergeant Dana Pierce says three women women have now accused Nathaniel Johnson of performing surgery on them. Police charged Johnson with practicing medicine without a license. What he did in his practice was to a degree disfiguring to at least one of these victims. But his lawyer says Nathaniel Johnson was only an administrator running the cosmetic surgery clinics while other licensed doctors performed the surgery. No matter what, whether it's one person or five, uh, people, we still have the same defense, is that he did not perform surgery on anyone. And Cobb County Police say their investigation continues and they want to hear from anyone who was treated by Nathaniel Johnson during the past two years. And two of his employees were listed as witnesses on the police reports. Neither one of them would talk with us. Russ Sine. All right.